think was going on out there? What, what went wrong tonight? Uh, man, we just got beat. Uh, you seen it, we seen it, uh, everyone seen it. We just, uh, just got beat. Uh, they wanted more than us today, and uh, the results showed up. Despite the loss, how did it feel returning back home to play in front of a home crowd? I felt good. Um, just uh, going out there and uh, just being able to play in front of lots of people who had never seen me play before and just uh, they're trying to create a great first impression on them. So it's just really great to uh, be back and uh, play against the uh, home crowd. Does it, does it ease the, the hurt a little bit that you've got a ring in the drawer already, if you will? You, you know, you've won one of these before. Does it, does it ease the hurt of this a little more, a little <laughs> somewhat? Definitely not, man. I mean, <laughs> who wants to lose? I mean, so what? We won it last year. Uh, we didn't get it done this year. And uh, this is going to stick with us in the scenes for the rest of their lives. I mean, it just hurts. In what was the what? championship game? Is it difficult for you to actually say they wanted it more than you did? Uh, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's very difficult. But I mean, at the end of the day, we got beat. Uh, no excuses. Uh, you can't chalk it up to the what ifs and the what not. So I mean, uh, at the end of the day, uh, the scoreboard, uh, it is what it is. I mean, we have to move forward and just learn from it and just uh, get better. You're up 10 going in that second quarter, and you get outscored 21-10. What was the difference in that quarter? Do you think? They, they, they just. Uh, Kept fighting. They just wanted more. Uh, we we just got relaxed, I guess, and uh, they just came out and just kept fighting. What did Coach Winnie say in the locker room? What was his message? To, what was Coach Winnie's message to you guys after the game? I just told him how much he loved us and uh, just keep our heads up. Uh, I mean, uh, you lose some, you win some, but that doesn't uh, determine who you are at the end of the day. And I uh, just go back to the drawing board and learn from it, and get better from it. Trevor didn't seem nearly, obviously, uh, as sharp as he normally is. Uh, Travis, can you kind of maybe describe and put your finger on why Trevor was having some struggles tonight? I mean, Trevor did what he, he, he normally do. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't tell you what Trevor's struggle was. That's the question you have to ask Trevor. I mean, I, we had total focus on him. I wouldn't train him, trade him for nobody in the world. I mean, this is his first loss. I mean, uh, what, what a great quarterback, a great guy he is. And I mean, um, maybe he had one bad day, so what? I mean. I still take him over anybody. 29 in a row is still, still impressive, uh, even though the loss tonight, a lot of teams don't have that opportunity, you guys winning that many. Just talk a little bit now, you can kind of look back a little bit and say, you know, we won 29 in a row in a couple championships. I mean, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a great feeling to uh, know that we won 29 in a row and that, um, and that we had so much success, but uh, right now it's just kind of hard just to get, just look past the loss uh, we just took, I mean. Uh, you've seen it. Uh, out, out played. They had a great defensive plan. Great, just, just great, great overall team by them. And I mean, they wanted it, and uh, they just came and did what they had to do. Any decision on your future, and does this game play into that decision at all? Uh, definitely not. I mean, uh, I have to just go home and weigh the pros and the cons and uh, make my decision. I know it comes in a loss, but setting the all-time leading rushing, you know, yardage total of Clemson and all of the great Clemson records you've broken this year. I know it doesn't take some of the pain out of it, but will you be able to look back years down the road and, and admire you know, all, all the records that you've set here? Uh, probably around about 50. Probably about retired from the league. Uh, got me a ranch going, uh, living life. Probably just look back and reflect on things I did in college. So, I mean, yeah, down the road, I'll look back and uh, just look at all the things that I've done throughout my life. But right now, it's just kind of hard because you just, you just, you're just too busy worrying about doing the things, uh, focus, on, focus on just being great in the process and not really just worried about the accolades that may come with it. So uh, later down the road, when I look back, yeah, I'll look back and be like, I was kind of good. Jordan, is the phrase you can learn more from a loss than a win? When you guys last lost in this building two seasons ago, what did you learn that night? And what do you think a loss like this can impact this program and, and your career? I mean, I definitely disagree with that phase. I mean, you can learn a lot from a win, too. And uh, I mean, uh, this loss, it just, it just, it builds character. I mean, fa uh, success is not uh, final, failure is not fatal. So, I mean, we just have to go back to the drawing board, get better, uh, just come with a different mindset. Just just have to look within, look in the mirror, uh, watch film, and see what I could have done better, uh, what I could have helped my team with, just maybe just uh, being patient on the run. Maybe I could have burst and gave the team the, the edge that we need, the spark that we need. So, I mean, I have to go back to the drawing board and just see what I could have done better and just get better at it. As you guys get enter next year, you're going to be a favorites to, to, to get back in the college football playoff and be in this situation again. So in the back of your mind, you got to know that you guys have a solid team coming back next year. Did you have an opportunity to be in this position again? I mean, definitely. But we understand that uh, past success won't determine future success. So I mean, uh, next year's team, 125, uh, 
definitely going to have a lot on their shoulders. They can't rest off what we've done in the past because it's a whole new team, whole new, whole new system. And I mean, just uh, everyone have to uh, just come together and play as a team. So I mean, we definitely can't rest on things we've done in the past to focus to try to determine future success. Travis, I know you were out on the wild or on the field for a while. Congratulating the LSU players. Why, why did you feel like you need to do that? What was that like? Uh, I mean, I, I was just, me and Rich were just sitting back, and uh, we were just. Just, just in disbelief, uh, kind of just, they're just shocked by the moment. And I mean, uh, they, they, they came towards me. Uh, they came and uh, congratulated me. And I just felt like, I mean, he come up to me, I just told him, thank you, bro. Just enjoy this win. I mean, great game. Uh, just tip my hats off to him. They came out, they, they beat us. And uh, just tip my hats off to him. And uh, just a couple of guys came up to me and uh, just, just being Clemson, uh, winning with class and losing with class, just, just tip my hats off to them and just did the right thing.